and gentlemen, and today I have with me a 2015 Audi S8. So this car is from the great era of BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. Back whenever they put a four liter V8 in virtually everything, even down to the BMW M3, which is one of my all time dream cars. This car being a 2015 makes it a really, really good value at $42,000 at the dealership that I work at, and it sounds really good. 520 horsepower, gobs of torque, I mean, come on, man. And whenever you look inside, there's a little special surprise here for you. <laughs> is that me or is, uh, is that, is that, are we just excited to see each other or is that my screen in my freaking 2015 Audi S8? That's just cool. No other manufacturer really does that. Over here on the door cards, you have the full Alcantara door cards with another little secret surprise. So you can keep your special wrappings uh, right out of view perfect spot. I don't think that was what it was originally intended for, probably for pens of sort of some sort like that, but you can use that for other other activities as well. Inside of the back seat, that's really where the Audi S8 is going to shine. You've got a ton of uh, creature comforts here in the back, like window curtains here on the doors that you control uh, completely individually. You uh, press a single button here on the door to do the back on the window, and then you also just press it one time and that'll do your curtains here on the side as well. And then whenever you're done, it slides right out of you so you don't have to worry about it. You've also got a handy dandy little ashtray back in the era of smoking. I mean, this is about almost 10 years ago now. And the technology and the, the fact that this thing has 520 horsepower is just insane because, you know, V V8s nowadays are only making about 523. So this car is really modern still. Inside of the trunk, you got room for probably about two or three of me. It's a power trunk, so you don't have to worry about trying to uh, force it open and closed. And just to prove it, take a little nap ski. I mean, it's not, that's not too bad. And then whenever you're done, just press the button and you walk away. Um, so let's take this thing on a little drive, shall we? But first, before we drive, I did want to go over a couple of cool things inside of this car. So, even though this is a 2015, it's not locking on a lot of your modern, modern luxuries. Uh, you've all got another button in order to control the rear shade just up here, which is nice. A nice little analog clock, which mostly just Lexus is doing nowadays, but it looks absolutely beautiful and really adds to it. A nice touch because it's seamlessly integrated, not just thrown up on the dash just to be up on the dash. Whenever we go into our little color profile here, you've got three different options. You have ivory. And then you have, which is kind of like a gold, beautiful kind of like yellow kind of light. You've also got polar, which is just like an ice white. And then ruby and polar, which is my personal favorite and why it's currently set on there. It's really nice. I do also want to mention that this car does have ventilated and heated seats and they are very, very comfortable. Uh, these seats are super duper adjustable. You've got quilted leather. Again, the Alcantara continues up on top of the roof. You've got tons of just suede everywhere. This car is super duper plush. And uh, something I wanted to mention earlier is you've actually got double pane glass windows. So whenever you're looking for a luxury car, you always wanna check and see if it has double pane glass because it just makes it so much quieter whenever you're trying to drive the vehicle. We're gonna put that up, but before we do that, actually, I'm, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm a little bit ADHD today, so. Don't mind me as I switch this thing into comfort or out of comfort mode and into dynamic. Throw a little bit of a clip for the cold start into the beginning of the video so you guys have already seen how that sounds. But let's uh, take this thing on a quick little drive, shall we? So inside of this car, you do have rain sensing wipers, which is pretty much expected whenever you're getting into a luxury type vehicle like this. Uh, we're gonna throw it into drive. We don't need to do into sport. But this car does have all-wheel drive as well. Hold on, turn this down a little bit. The uh, climate controls are slightly strange where you have to press this little fan button and then you have different ways to individually kind of control the climate control inside of the car. It works very well. The dynamic settings are nice. The navigation is a bit out of date and then the screen is kind of chunky, but you're buying this thing because it has a four liter V8 and 520 horsepower and it drives extremely smoothly. That's why you'd be getting one of these vehicles. You still do have Sirius XM, which is very important and blind spot monitoring. So it's not like you're gonna feel really kind of like out of touch with modern modern vehicles. It's just, they just do it slightly different than how they, uh, how they used to nowadays. Wow, okay, this thing is freaking quick. Um, something that I noticed while I was taking this thing on a quick, quick short drive before the video is that, oh my God, 
it's got a nice little pop once it's once it's warmed up. Whenever this car is not all the way warm, I don't think that it opens up the exhaust all the way. Um, so it is very, very quiet, which is just kind of deceiving the fact that it has a V8 and that it's not just screaming and loud in your face. Um, even in the dynamic mode, it's relatively calm. Um, something I also wanted to mention while we're waiting here for the light to change is you can actually raise and lower the suspension directly from the uh, kind of infotainment system here. So we're gonna press this lower button. It's actually dropping the car down while we're going. This helps lower the center of gravity and make the car handle a little bit better. All right, we're doing another pull here. And that's 60 miles an hour. This thing is freaking fast, but as you can tell, you really can't hear it. It's a, it's a true luxury vehicle. This is a car you get driven around in, not necessarily drive around. This car, I'm gonna show you the uh, the window sticker, but this car is very, very well equipped. This is the monsoon gray, and then also on the gray, nice seats. You've got a gray steering wheel, which is nice. The paddle shifters feel like they're there, but it's again, they're in the good spot, but there's a little bit too small. Oh, almost an accident just happened in front of us there. Um, but they, they are quick to react whenever you shift through the gears. Eight speed transmission is very nice. It's a welcome surprise. Um, oh my gosh way that this thing just downshifts is just very aggressive and the torque just picks up so fast around 3800 rpms that's turbochargers for you this 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 car is pretty cool for 42 grand for one with only 44,000 original miles that's like almost nothing per year what's 44,000 over over uh nine so 45 nine times five and it's like freaking five thousand miles a year that this car was driven it's basically like it never got driven at all i'm gonna pull over here real quick and show you guys what the window sticker looks like um all right throw this thing into park the transmission is quite nice full wrapped carbon fiber inside of here and throw that into park there we go and it's just very very high quality it's the original msrp on this car was one hundred and twenty three thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars so this car today would probably sell for about 140 a lot of these cars have gotten switched around a little bit more towards kind of like the rs7 as opposed to the s8 people like that like coupe style but i personally like the body style look of this thing it's got some presence um miles per gallon is actually really not bad at 16 city and then 27 highway so you're going to be around probably about a 23 mile per gallon average, which is the same as a modern X5. So you're not really missing out on fuel economy either. Despite the fact that you have a V8, this thing is a really cool, is a really, really cool car. Last thing I wanna mention, you've got this really nice looking uh, sh sh silver start stop button, tons of storage inside of your center compartment here. Just lift straight up. A little bit of an antiquated blast for the past with the USB connector coming in like that. But you can fit some pens, maybe a, maybe a pocket protector or something like very, very minimal storage. But, you know, it's cool that it also splits so if your passenger wanted to have their armrest, but you feel like having yours down, you can actually really easily uh, kind of accommodate both parties there. Cup holders, not too bad. Um, relatively shallow on this side, a little bit deeper here. Um, but it's nice that they can get tucked away and you've got your little ashtray kind of hidden behind there. So let me, let me know what you guys think about uh, about the Audi S8. And thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the 2015 Audi S8, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.